The typical UK household spends £4,726 per year in the supermarket. But why do we spend so much in supermarket stores? Well, have you ever just nipped in for some milk and bread and left with much more? If you have, you aren't on your own and you aren't fully to blame. It's all down to the sneaky psychological tactics which are designed to influence you to spend more money and make lots of impulse purchases during your visit to the supermarket. It all starts before you even enter the supermarket, when you collect your shopping trolley, which is often much bigger than it needs to be, which influences you as a customer to think that you haven't spent as much as you really have. When you enter the supermarket, the layout is then designed to increase the chances of you having to walk around the entire store. For example, everyday items such as milk, bread and eggs are commonly separated and placed towards the back of the store, meaning you pass hundreds of additional products and offers along the way, which increases chances of you making impulse purchases. Imagine if the most popular items were just at the front of the store next to the tills. You just walk in, pick them up and pay, which wouldn't be good for the supermarket's sales revenue and profitability. Put simply, the longer you are in store, the more money you are likely to spend. Talking about the layout of a typical supermarket, what's one of the first things you see when you enter? It's often fresh fruit and vegetables, which provides you with an emotional response and a subconscious sense of health and feeling good. Just imagine if the first thing you came across in the supermarket was an aisle full of toilet paper. It would be very bland and believe it or not, it would influence your mindset negatively. And it's been proven that happy customers tend to spend more, so it's crucial to get you feeling good from the start. With this in mind, music is also used to influence your mood and the rate in which you shop. During peak hours, supermarkets are likely to play faster paced music, which in turn gets you to shop faster and helps supermarkets to manage the flow of customers in store. But in off-peak times, this all changes, as supermarkets play music with a much slower tempo, influencing you to shop at a much slower and relaxed pace, with the aim of keeping you in store longer, which often results in you spending more money as you start to suffer from decision fatigue. After supermarkets have used sound, they try to take advantage of another one of your senses, and this time it's smell. Now smell reminds humans of pleasurable memories, and can leave you feeling somewhat nostalgic whilst in store which encourages you to make even more impulse purchases. And this urge to purchase more food items than you intended heightens if you go to the supermarket on an empty stomach. Have you ever noticed that you spend more money at the supermarket when you are hungry? Put it this way, if you can walk past a pack of half price cookies in the bakery when you are hungry, you are a better person than me. And this is exactly why supermarkets often offer you free samples whilst you are walking around the store, to take advantage of your sense of taste which is a very effective way to not only stimulate your appetite and remind you of how good certain food and drinks taste, but they can also subconsciously trigger your human instinct to reciprocate generosity as you feel the need to give something back, which is often in the form of buying more items whilst in store. Supermarkets also want you to walk up and down each and every aisle, which is why they have very formal structures encouraging you to walk a certain route around the supermarket. The journey you take around a supermarket is not by chance, and is likely to be very similar every time you shop. And if this wasn't enough to convince you to browse each aisle, popular products such as tea and coffee are typically placed in the centre of an aisle rather than at the end, meaning you have to walk down the aisle and pass lots of other products and promotions along the way. And it's these promotions which are surrounded by bright colours to gain your attention that are likely to influence you to make an impulse purchase due to the fear of missing out, as they come in the form of discounts or special offers such as buy one get one free and last for a limited time only. Now, you could look at supermarket aisles as being psychological funnels, and it all starts with the plinth ends, which are full of special offers, and can often get customers to stop in their tracks. This is prime space in a supermarket. Even if you don't walk down each aisle, you are likely to pass the offers on the plinth ends, which often results in you acting on impulse, and adding additional products into your shopping trolley, which you didn't originally intend on purchasing. This tactic is so effective, that brands actually pay to have their products featured on these end of aisle displays. Alongside promotions, supermarkets often use psychological pricing strategies which are extremely effective at making you feel that products are cheaper than they actually are. For example, a product might be priced at £4.95 instead of £5 and because we are trained to read from left to right, we naturally associate the product with £4 rather than £5 and are more likely to purchase the item. Now there's a saying in business, eye level is buy level. And what you will notice is the products which supermarkets want you to buy, i.e. the ones with the highest profit margins, are likely to be around the centre of the shelf at eye level. 
and this is no different for children's products, which are placed at a much lower height to attract the attention of little ones who can ask their adults over and over again for that sugary cereal, magazine or toy. Supermarkets have evolved extensively over the years, and one of the most notable changes relates to the size of the typical supermarket store. They are often much bigger in size, with the aim of making you feel more comfortable and relaxed in store, which has been proven to result in you browsing for longer, and therefore spending more. This combined with a much wider range of products, such as household goods, clothing and electronics, means you are more likely to come across an item that you might want to buy, as supermarket stores tend to have something for everybody. The convenience of everything being under one roof plays a major role and influences the buyer behaviour of many customers who visit supermarkets. And finally, after all that, we get to the checkouts and what do we find? Even more special offers and products which we might buy on impulse such as chewing gum, batteries and chocolate. So that's it, a quick fire look at the strategies that supermarkets use to get you to spend more money. If you found the video useful, remember to hit the like button and follow 2Teachers YouTube for lots more insightful business videos just like this.